In this video, we will have an introduction to portals as lesson 1 in module 5 working with portals. Let's begin with the outlines of this lesson. In this lesson, we will know what is the Power Apps portal. After that, we will list the portal feature and the extended feature from Dynamics 365. At the end of this lesson, we will discuss the prerequisites that we should have to use portal. Power Apps Portal is external facing websites that enable users outside their organization to sign in to create and view data and also it provides viewing the content anonymously. Portal works exclusively over data in common data service, the Dataverse now, and it extends the Dataverse to internal and external audiences. So it allows customers and partners to work with common data service data, the Dataverse data, either anonymously or using commercial login providers. And it delivers a complete content management system out of the box, so we can call the portal a new code, low code solution that building portal the app. The bar apps portals involved from Dynamics 365 portals, so you can extend the Dynamics 365 features. When you enabling the Dynamics 365, you will enable to create different types of portals that provided by Dynamics 365. When you have a new created common data service environment, as it is not automatically provisioned, so you must provision the Power Apps portal on the Dataverse environment, the common data service before. As we said that the portal is a website, so most contents of the portal are represented by web pages and you can add or edit portal pages. You can manage the portal pages using Portal Studio, Portal Front Side Editor and Portal Management App. We will discuss them later in details. There is many benefits of using portal. So let's list some of the portal's features. Portals have responsive design that can fit all devices that you will use. And it is quickly built websites with no code or with low code. Most of the component of the portal website is depending on dragging components in the canvas of the portal and configure the properties of these components with no code. Besides that, the portals deliver a complete content management system out of the box. So you can create web pages, static text, images and other content quickly using Portal Studio and the other different portal makers tools. All done in few steps. Portals is multi-language website, as it provides you with about 43 different languages that you can use to view your portal's content. One of the biggest features of the portal is its ability to interact with common data service records, the Dataverse records. By using web rules and entity permissions, including the contact table, the profile management, and bring information to portal content. This is what makes portal content more protected through common data service security model. Also, one of the main features is its integration with Azure and SharePoint and Power BI. Another important feature is the global search in the portal. Portals provide you with the ability to search across specific dataverse records so you can quickly locate specific data on a portal results page. Another feature is the portal security. The portals provide users to be authenticated by using a built-in authentication or by using an integrated external authentication such as Microsoft Azure Active Directory B2C, LinkedIn, Facebook and others. Another feature is the customization and extensibility of the portals. Portals provide many tools to create content and add dataverse data and by this tool you can configure the appearance of the portal application. These tools such as the portal studio and the portal management app. There are many other features of the portal that we will discover during working with the portal like theming, the themes in the portal and the profile management for the authenticated users and the localization and other features. As the Power Apps portals involved from Dynamics 365 portals, you will find extended features from Dynamics 365. But be aware that if you have provisioned a new Power Platform environment without enabling any of the Dynamics 365 apps, so these features will be unavailable. So, to extend the features of Dynamics 365, you must enable the Dynamics 365 apps when creating the environment with Dataverse. But if you enable them, you will bring these features as portal templates. These portal templates such as case management that allow customer service organizations to interact with their customers. 
and the knowledge management feature so users will be able to browse and search knowledge articles this knowledge articles created and approved in dynamic 365 customer service and appear in portals and you will find other additional features like forums blogs ideas that you can use within the community portal and you will find the project service automation this feature belongs to the partner portal template with that feature the customers and the partners will be able to view projects and the confirmed and the bookable resources customers also will be able to approve codes view invoices and view contact and other forms and you will find the field services integration the field service integration allow customers to view and request work orders from the portal and view invoices this is the feature that you will gain from enabling the dynamic 365 apps now how can we use portals or what are the prerequisites that we need to use portals at the beginning of this lesson we said that the power apps portal is not automatically provisioned when a new dataverse environment is created so the first thing that you will need to do is to provision the power apps portal in the new dataverse environment the new common data service environment before you have to know that only one power apps portal can be provisioned for each dataverse environment and to provision a portal you must be assigned to system administrator role of dataverse environment is selected for the portal the first appear of the portal is the trial portal by default when you provision a new portal it will be provisioned in a trial mode that will give you 30 days after that it will be deleted or you have to convert this trial portal to a production one we finished our lesson in this lesson we have learned what are portals and what are the portal features and the extended feature from dynamic 365 and the prerequisites that we have to know to use the portals thanks